Hey guys, and CS fans, Devil One here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Lego Star Wars to 100%. Part 13, last time we finished up episode 2 and I went in the wrong door. This time we're going to jump right back into episode 2 and Canister Hunt, starting out with Camino. Normally I would have, or actually I probably would have just started inside the level and actually, you know what? I don't want you. I think I'll take Anakin, even though it really doesn't matter. I probably would have started a little ways into the level, but the first canister is very, very early on. So I thought, you know, why not? Why not start out? You guys got to see me fail at picking the episode. So that first canister we can get is going to be right over here. Uh, let's see, where, who is our super jump character? Second, I thought we didn't get one. <laughs> that would have been weird if we hadn't have gotten one, because I've never ever had a time when it gave me, it didn't give me all the characters I needed. I've never had that happen before, luckily. So, I'll see you guys in actually a few minutes for the next canister. Okay, to get to the next canister, you're going to want to hit circle on this thing, and it's going to open up a new path for us. What you have to do here is sort of like what we did in the Count Dooku level. Jump on the button and then have the other character jump on it. And we're going to do this for just uh, actually quite a few times here. Okay, and uh, there we go. And it lowers this platform. Now what you want to do is use the force on this. And we raise right up. So that gives us seven canisters, and the next one you can actually see is right over there. I just want to grab these blue studs because they're pretty easy to get to. Well, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm too lazy to go with the last one. Okay, so now what we want to do is... Uh, Django. There we go. So as you can see, Django can hover just like R2 can, and he can shoot while in the air. Which, could, which usually makes him a more attractive character to use than R2-D2 and you hit X to make him jump out. So what you have to do now is uh, go in these things and see where you come out at, and those buttons will let you out. So it's not that one. Let's try this one. We have to pick the one that will take us to the canister, which we have done. Not too bad. Only took two attempts. So we've already got eight of the canisters, and I know exactly where both of the others are. They're kind of spread out in free play on this mission, but it doesn't really matter because you have to go back through the entire level anyway. And I would have cut back to you guys, but first I just want to show you something that I forgot to mention before. If we could catch up to this robot. You actually, this friendly guy, these robots are actually invincible. You can hit him as many times as you want and it doesn't do anything to him. Usually stuff will die in four hits, but as you can see, it doesn't actually matter. So, I'll see you guys in a minute for the next canister. I just had to include this again, guys. Don't blame me. I just had to include this again, because once again, it's probably my favorite thing in the entire game. Robots doing a dance. Obi-Wan's passing out. And quadruple backflip. Oh, uh, let's try that again. One, two, three, four. I know some of the, a lot of our cheerleaders can do moves like that pretty well. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I just had to include that for fun. A uh, quick note about Django, though. He won't hover indefinitely when the ground drops off. Like, quite often he'll start falling, as you might have seen there, kind of fast. So I just thought I'd point that out now, just so that you don't get too many preconceived notions about Django. So that's where R2 does sort of come through a little bit better. But he'll hover basically as long as you want while he's above the solid ground. So you want to hit this. And now I'm looking for the closest blaster character to 3PO. Okay, it's two to the right. What you're going to need to do... And we screwed it up, didn't we? Great. Yeah, that, this one is a bit annoying just because he doesn't have that high of a rate of fire blaster. I'm looking for if I have anything that's a little bit better, but I guess I don't, so I guess I gotta use him.
I'll try Django. I mean, he gets two shots every time. Did he seriously miss? Wow, this is just embarrassing. This one really shouldn't be that hard, but they just managed to make it difficult for whatever reason. A droidica would almost be better. Oh, what? Wow, game! Was that really necessary? You made it go out while I was going up? That is, like, not even right, okay? Okay, let's attempt this again. There! Okay, I just had to be patient. You guys know I don't have that ability, though. So, we're almost through with the level, though, so I'll see you guys back for the next canister. Uh, guys, unfortunately my camera decided to screw up for a second, and I was not able to catch this canister on recording. I don't know why it did it. But what you need to do to get the last canister in this mission is use Dark Force to enter this door after you kill the robots. Come in here, and then have both of you use the force on these two panels at once, and it'll open up the canister, and it'll also release some enemies. So I really, really apologize for that. It should have started recording, but for some reason it didn't. It does that occasionally, though. And I would have just gone ahead and ended the video here and cut back to it, cut back to the canisters. But I'm going to show you guys an alternate strategy for this boss fight that you can only do if you have a blaster character, as we're about to see. It makes this fight go much more easily, much more smoothly. So what you want to do... Oh, wait, you have to wait till he gets out of the center, of course. Just wait till he gets up and shoot him. It's a pretty easy strategy. Plus, you can even shoot him while he's in the air. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch to a different blaster character, though, because he's not the best blaster character for this. I don't want to be Dark Maul, either. Come on, uh, where's our clone? There we go. Clone's a little more accurate. Yes, block. Aw, oh, come on, Dark Maul. You should have blocked the shots with your body. And now you don't have to redirect his attacks back at him either. Dark Maul, come on. You're supposed to be helpful today. Oh, man, that thing actually almost hit me. So in some ways it's faster. In some ways it's slower. It certainly makes the last hit a lot easier because now you don't have to chase him all over the battlefield. Okay, so we got our studs, and more importantly, our mini kit. It's obviously Obi-Wan's speeder without a glass top on it, so he'd die, but oh well. Star Wars logic. So the next thing we're going to want to do is head into Chapter 2 of Episode 2. So, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so for our first free play canister of this episode, of uh, Chapter 2, uh, I'm looking for probably, okay, yeah, Obi-Wan will work just fine for this. Uh, go out here. This platform's going to collapse, basically, on you. I think you can still get up here with a super jump character if you miss. But then go into this chute as a small character, and you can get your seventh canister. And I don't think I got to show this before because we didn't have R2 with us. Oh, that hurt. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, that hurt even more. Okay, that's not my best idea ever. What you can do is, when you get in here, and I didn't get to show this off before because R2 doesn't come until a little bit later in the mission, and I just didn't really feel like wasting any time showing it. But uh, if you have R2, this is really only for free play mode. Uh, take an Astromic Droid if it's R2 or not. Hit that, and it'll disable the presses, and you won't be able to get crushed, which is actually... Oh yeah, Geonosian. As you can see, he can fly, and he flies really, really fast. But I just don't really like using him because I don't like his blaster as much. Okay, and I would have gone ahead and, and actually, I just want to go ahead and show our next thing. To get to it, you have to do this. Force like I did there. Now switch to a blaster character. Ah, good job, you failed. Switch to a blaster character that has an ascension gun, like a clone. Shoot this thing, and now we switch back over to R2, or R whatever its name is. And I didn't mean to switch to a Gene Ocean there. 
Okay, here they are teaching us about colors. Yay, education. So we need to make orange, and the two colors needed to make orange are yellow, and you can do this in either order. You can do yellow or red first, it doesn't matter. Yellow and red. I think that was correct. Yep. Now for purple, do blue and red. I'm not an artist, so I'm not, I wouldn't, or I'm just not good at this kind of stuff. I'm nowhere near the level of an artist. And finally, to make green, you combine yellow with blue. Okay, thank you. And grab your canister. There's also a blue stud on top of there, but that one's not really worth going for. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, to get the ninth canister on this mission, wait until you get to this point where you could break this thing and go through that door over there. And now assemble it into a couple of platforms. I think I might have shown this before. Then use a super jump character to jump right up for your canister. And I don't really feel like cutting this time. I don't really think I need to because we're not really that far from the last canister. So I'm just gonna play straight through. Well, I haven't felt like I've had a lot of energy in this session because I'm trying to record all the episode 2 canisters at once or in one sitting. That way that next time I get on to start playing, I start with episode 3. I guess I had good reason for that as well because I just, I basically got screwed over yesterday at the time this is being recorded, which will probably be like three, four days before it goes up. I just got basically totally screwed over. I'm not going to talk about it, but it was really a jerkish thing that kind of happened to me, and frankly, I, I am not happy or pleased at all with what happened. I just, it wasn't right, and it was just really annoying and depressing, disheartening. A lot of things to say about it, but I'm not going to continue on with that. And yes, it had to do with a girl. And just so you know, I've never had a girlfriend, actually. So what you want to do is use the force on that. <sighs> Crap. Okay, please tell me you're going to be intelligent. Got it. Nice. Now shoot that, and uh, now we've got this battle here again. I know I could have cut through this, but I don't really feel like doing that because I don't really think I need to because it's kind of a kind of a short distance thing. We don't really have to go too far, you know. So why not just have some fun letting you guys see me take these things down? Hey, look, it's Obi Wan meets Obi Wan Matrix, or I don't know what that would be a reference to exactly. So now going to use the force and take 10 minutes to do every single one of these. I still got like two canisters and finished the level low in like three and a half minutes, so. It's just still floating there. That's kind of glitchy. So we get our studs. I don't care about that, but more importantly, we finish our mini kit. Yay! Over 710,000. So once we complete the next level, I can buy the mini kit detector just because I'm awesome like that. It'll make it easier pretty much for most of the chapters of episode 3, especially chapters 4 and 5. Well, 5 isn't really all that bad when I think about it, but I hate chapter 4. Actually, I hate chapter 2 as well of episode 3. So next time we will start Jedi Battles canisters.